Hi there, I'm trying to find a spot to sit and chat. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm on this big rock here. And it is windy as heck. Looks like just from the path here that people go down this way. Let me show you where I'm at. Big rock. Be a little careful. The Atlantic Ocean right there. I'm in Rio today. How are you doing? Maybe I can get on the other side of these rocks, right? Let's try that. I'm not going to walk down that way, no. Looks a little too strenuous. I was going to say dangerous. It doesn't really look that dangerous. But it looks like somebody has a pathway up this way. There's somebody standing on that rock, so... Anything's possible, right? But look, I found a path here. Not sure what the noise is. Beautiful cactus. Didn't bring the surfboard this time. <laughs> Those mountains off in the distance there are called the Two Brothers. They're often cloud covered. This guy's taking advantage of the breeze. And several guys surfing there. Okay, let's go. been here for centuries of course this is called the rock of the um, let's see it's a guy that shoots arrows so the rock is named that and also the beach in the area here is named after a guy that shoots arrows. Let me let me find out what that is. Okay, I just I just thought of it. Woo, back out in the wind. It's an archer, right? Here we can see the other side of Rio. Um, let me show you a little closer here. top the rock that way you can see beautiful Copacabana Beach Brazil is known for its granite and marble now you know why they have so much of it just laying around here all right oh I don't think we're gonna be able to see Copacabana from my viewpoint but I'll show it to you later in the video here Now this is not a real good surf break here, I guess. But what I want to do is try to find
find a place where the wind's not blowing so hard and where we have a nice view got some guys fishing down here we got the waves coming up but the wind is um, still pretty dramatic here crevices and maybe put that as my backdrop that'd be nice right Let's see how oh, back over here last thing I want to do is slip some of this is like a little sandy so you gotta be careful yeah interesting carved out not sure if at one time the ocean level was up this high. This is really nice here as far as for being quiet. I just think if I get out here a little ways to sit, it's going to be windy again. Let's see. Alright, I'm here. Nothing's moving. It's rock. How you doing? And then we have uh, Ipanema Beach and Lemmy Beach uh, in our background. And the guy is trying to surf over there. And uh, I just want to talk to you that it is possible for you to follow your keto, your clinical keto, and your fasting on a trip. Now it's not easy. And. Um, you know, there's going to be times when you're going to have to go do a little bit of intermittent fasting, right? Because you'll find that the uh, meals that you want, the food that you need, if you're not taking it with you, just isn't there. You know, it's going to be something that you're going to have to go a while without, but you can do it. I just want to encourage you and let you know that it's possible to do. And this is kind of living. I mean, I hear the excuses of my fellow my co-workers that want to jump in on a diet like this or a lifestyle like this not so much a clinical ketogenic but just normal keto diet and do it for health benefits and just you know just overall feeling better you know and they're saying you know it's, that's almost impossible to do you know I, I can't do that but you can because this even takes you back more to the the paleo, the, the type of dieting, eating that our, you know, ancestors did when they could eat and then they couldn't, you know, they had to go long periods of time. So just put yourself in their place and you will feel better. The reason why is because you know you can do it because you're here today. If it weren't for those people back in those ancient times persisting so much, then you wouldn't have the ability to uh, do it as well and also you probably wouldn't be here you wouldn't be born right so uh, I just want to encourage you let you know that it can be done I'm here living proof you know the temptation is uh, it's just crazy 
I gotta jump from there to there, and that's all wet. Wish me luck. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Yay! This is good. What I did on one of my recent layovers is I just overdid the walking stuff and got just totally exhausted. For those of you that are on Twitter, you might have remembered I wrote that I felt like I had chills and was coming down with something, but it, actually all it was was just being crazy exhausted from walking so much on the layover. So I do have to be careful with that part. Back out here where it's windy. I'm up reaching up here even. There's the beach over there. So yeah, um, stay at it, be steady, don't cheat. That's the way I think that you're gonna gain the most. Good to know, whatever goes up must come down. So I still gotta climb this in order to get back over there. Fortunately, I am probably the 30 or 40 millionth person that's done this and there are signs of where people have walked even on this hard rock and you know like I always say you gotta listen to your body what's your body telling you and follow that I get questions sometimes that I I think gosh how am I gonna answer this you know and what I have to do really is just uh you know, think of, think it through for a bit and just think, well, you know, what would your body, how would your body react to that, right? How would you, how would you do if um, you, you did that a few days in a row? Somebody asked me this, they asked me, you know, what if I did 10 tablespoons of olive oil and that was my diet? <laughs> And I told him, I said, just listen to your body, you know, what is your, what is your body telling you, you know, after doing that a few days, if you think that's sustainable, you know, just, your body's so smart, your body's so intelligent, the body is not dumb, and, you know, all these things that we have, I'm not sure what you call these birds that are hanging out over here, they're over here, you know, um, but they're taking advantage of the wind here. It's really cool. But, you know, you just gotta... You just gotta listen to your body. If your body feels good, eating all that olive oil all at once, keep it up, all right? But uh, for me, I'm just thinking of it. It doesn't sound like it's something that would be very... totally around nutrition as far as getting all the essential stuff that your body needs. So just be careful. permanently in this old cacti. That looks like an agave plant, doesn't it? There's another one right there. Okay, choices. This is a tropical almond tree. One of my favorites. Because it's very, very broad leafed and shades very well. There's another one right there. They have tons of these in Rio. So yeah, um didn't come up this way. Came up over there on the on the stairs. I'm gonna go down this way. Let's check it out. This path goes along another rock outcropping. Not really what we're sure what we're seeing up here.
People are on vacation this time of year here in Brazil. All right, getting down here where it's windy again. Let's see. say that some of them are say people from Rio are, are not shy of, to display what they got and work on what they got their tans and whatever at any age with the wind the uh, waves have kind of broken up that there's no more some bigger waves. No big heavy surf though for the surfers. I think they're learning how to surf. Yeah. <laughs> Just taking a last look here at some of these places. Uh, right here on the beach. Coconut, coconut water. Then I passed by here just a few seconds ago. He was closed, but this uh, guy here has your world-famous Caipirinha, which is made up of a few things. Lots of ice, of course. Then you have um, sugar cane, alcohol, tons of sugar, and limes. So it's a ticking time bomb if you have a cancer challenge. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's so beautiful over there, the mountains. I have climbed the tallest one once. All right. So we came out through there. Went to that rock over there. Now we're going along the Praia do Guador, which is the uh, beach of the archer. It gets his arrows out and shoots. If you look at the beaches, they're all concave, which makes, you know, a beautiful scene. I always say, you know, whenever you see mountains cascading down into the ocean, it's just, this is stunning. thing I want to tell you about here in Rio is each area, each beach area has, you know, the sidewalk that goes along the beach, and each one of them has their unique design. So the design of the rocks, the stone walkway in Rio, in uh, Copacabana is going to be different from this one, which is a poador. And the Next beach over, which would be Ipanema, that has another design. So, you know, it goes, up, it goes like that. It's like each one has its own unique mosaic. See, I told you they make good shade trees. <laughs> it's nice, huh? Yeah. 
Olha aqui, viu? Ela tá de João Murico pra cá. Bota essa, essa coisa aqui, gente. 